Funeral held today for an Arlington teenager killed in a car crash. Police say she was hit by a man blowing into a court ordered breathalyzer device. And our Yona Gavino is live right now with a closer look at that device. Yeah, right behind me at this location here in Irving. This is one of the places where the Smart Star device is installed. And take a look at this checklist. Anyone who comes here who's court ordered gets this checklist, as well as a lot of training on how to properly and safely use them. This is the device at the center of the story. Family and friends attended Alexis Butler's funeral today. The 18 year old was on several competitive cheer teams and was training to become a cosmetologist. Police say she was backing out of a driveway on Redstone Drive on November 10, around 6 30 p.m., when a 31 year old man in a pickup hit her on the passenger side. The driver, who has not been named, claimed he looked down for three to four seconds to take a retest on a breathalyzer device. Uh, it's installed. We have a mounting clip that's installed on the dash. Uh, so it's not like they have to be looking or in search for the device when it prompts. Edward DeLeon is the product manager for the ignition interlock device. I asked if it disables a vehicle if the driver tries to drive drunk. No ignition interlock device. Um, is allowed to do that. Uh, our device simply prohibits the vehicle from being started. It's used by people placed on probation or who are court ordered. The tests are recorded and sent to officials who see the monitoring reports. Edward maintains with the proper training, it shouldn't be a distraction. When they're prompted for a rolling retest, we do recommend for the user to pull over to a safe place and take that test. Uh, traditionally, here in Texas, uh, rolling retests uh, that are prompted to the user, they're allowed six minutes to take that test. And police today tell me that charges have not been filed. In fact, right now, they haven't even established that a crime actually did happen. They are, of course, still investigating, but they do tell me that Alexis Butler was not wearing a seatbelt. Live in Irving, Yona Govino, CBS 11 News.